Welcome to the Network Engineering Video Blog. I'm your host, Michael Crane. Today we're going to, uh, this is going to be a quick video um, on how to reset the password in a 3845 router uh, that I bought off of eBay. And uh, I just want to do this for people that just want a real quick, you know, how-to video and, and not a bunch of uh, uh, theory. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so you're going to need uh, three things. A uh, Cisco router, a uh, DB9 to RJ45 Cisco console cable, and a DB9 to USB uh, adapter. Okay, so we're going to plug the, uh, the console cable, Cisco console cable, into the console port. You'll notice that the console port is baby, the label is baby blue just like the cable. And then we're going to plug the DB9 adapter into the uh, USB adapter, and then the USB is going to go into our PC. Okay, so today um, I'm going to be just going through this document at Cisco.com, the password recovery procedure for the 3600 and 38 series, 3800 series routers. And and this document is, is very good. It's got a lot of scenarios of where things could be different and you can, um, you know, have different forks in the road. And, uh, and we're not going to try to recover the password today. We're going to reset it because this is, um, you know, this, this has got an old config in it and I don't care about the, the enabled password. So I'm not going to leave this on the screen here. I'm going to just pull up a terminal and, and we're going to, um, you know, go through this pretty quickly. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to be using PuTTY today to access the console port on the 3845. So, uh, you want to uh, pull up PuTTY, make sure the USB is plugged in, and and you want to uh, find, using the device manager, um, what port number uh, the uh, the USB was assigned. So just in, in a search box, uh, pull up the device manager, go to um, ports, com, and LPT, and see what USB port number is. And so we can see it's on COM3. So back in PuTTY here, click on Serial. You'll see it defaulted the speed to 9600. We're going to change this to COM3. And you can save this if you want, or you don't have to save it if you if you don't need it. And then under connection here, serial, we're going to verify that our our serial line setting. So we want 9600 speed, baud, uh, eight eight bits, one stop bit, and no parity. Uh, 9600 N81. If you can remember that, that's that's. They're always that. And then you can go, if you have to change anything, go back and then you can save it if you want. I've already saved it here from the previous video, so, um, but I wanted to show that real quick again. So we're just going to open the, the port up. And now I'm going to power on the router. Okay, the router should be powering up. Yep, we can see it. And this is going to take, I don't know, about a minute or so to power up. Okay, so after the router is booted up, we uh, we need to to record the configuration register value, and and to define that is you just type in show uh, version, and just hit the space bar a few times until you get to the very bottom, and let's just keep that that value. So we'll just pull up a notepad. And we'll just we'll keep that for for later use. Okay, so the next the next step is we need to power off the router, and and then power it back on and send a break sequence or a break to um, to get it into uh, Armon mode. So which is basically the bootloader, and. Um, 
So I'm going to go ahead and power it off and power it back on. Now, if your laptop is like my laptop, you probably don't have a brake key. But uh, Putty, being the brilliant people that wrote this program, know um, they have they have helped us out on that. Okay, so I've turned the router off, and now I'm going to turn it back on. Okay, and so now we need to send a break sequence. If you have a break on your keyboard, um, you can hit that or control break sometimes work, works. Uh, I'm not sure what it is on the Mac, but if you go into PuTTY, just right click on the top bar right here, go to special command, and then break. And you'll see that it sent a break um, to the router, and it's aborted the boot mode. And so now we're in the arm, arm on mode. First, we're going to uh, reset this configuration value right here to a different value. And that is, um, and the command to do that is conf reg, and then type in the hex value 0x2142. Conf reg 2142. That'll tell it to, that tells the router to, to uh, bypass the startup config, which has all the passwords in it. Okay, so now it says we must reset our power cycle for new config to take effect. So, yep, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, I think right here we can just type in reset, and it should reset. Okay, so normally um, if you're wanting to uh, blow away the configuration, it's booted up and you can see it's gone into the initial configuration dialog. And, uh, and normally if, um, if you just wanted to blow away the config, this is where, where you get into. And you can just uh, hit control C right here. Because if you type in no, I think, I think it'll start prompting you for a bunch of other stuff. And, if you just hit control C wow that didn't work at all oh there we go I don't think it was completely booted up yet <laughs> oh okay so uh, yeah it so when I hit control C somewhere on up here it um, it basically this is just a this initial configuration is uh, just a like a script that it runs through and when you hit control C it just exited out and then it finished booting up and um, so now what we want to do is uh, uh, once this it's booted up and it has no no real config file make sure you do not do a write mem um, because you will overwrite your config file so if you want initial configuration we, we would have typed in yes uh, if you're trying to just reset the password and you want to keep your config, then 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 th this is how you do it. So now we're going to go into enable mode, and you can see there's no password, so the default is, is blank. We're going to copy the startup config into the running config, and and that way we can get a recover our startup config, and. Um, uh, and so we can change the password. So we're going to do a copy uh, startup dash config. And we're going to copy it to the running config. And and this is uh, this is just confirming the file name. Okay. So uh, so just hit enter. Don't hit yes. Okay, you can see it's it's loading up some old config in there, and uh, it looks like it's done. So you can see the the prompt is back, and and now what you do is you just uh, you just change the password. Um, you can do a show config, and but we don't really care. We just want to um, uh, change the password. So we're going to do a config t, and we're going to say um, uh, enable secret. 
And we're going to set the password to Cisco. C-I-S-C-O. So now uh, we've, we've reset the password. So now I'm going to hit Control C and do a write. Okay. And that will save the, um, the, uh, uh, the config file with our new password in there. So, so now what I'm going to do is um, just do a, uh, oh, now, now since we've reset this configuration register to the new value, now we need to set it back. And to do that, you just type in um, config register, oops, I guess you have to go in config t, config dash register. Okay, and uh, type in what we had previously. All right, now do a control C and then a write. And WR just stands for write mem. And uh, now we're going to reboot it or reload in, in Cisco E's. Okay, so it's booted up, and let's, let's verify that our, our new secret password works. So type in EN for enable, and then Cisco, and voila. If you like this video, uh, let me know. Leave it in the comments if you have any questions, um, and uh, I'll see you next time.